is going on guys this is Roger and Omar back again from OTR Gamer TV covering Need That's for it, Speed guys. Heat video and in this video's topic we're going to be talking about online multiplayer being delayed again is it possible is it not possible now it was unfortunately what happened when Need for Speed Payback came out so Need for Speed Payback was hyped up as you guys know me Omar bought it and then there was no online free roam. Yes, online came out a little delayed. It was delayed, right? The racing part. It was delayed, didn't it? I'm pretty sure yeah, it was delayed. It was. Yeah, so the online racing was delayed. And then the online free roam was delayed by by a lot. Like, I'm talking about a good couple of months. The game had died. Like, nobody was playing it. And then I remember when online came out, we played it for, like, what, two, three cruises and then <laughs> they maybe a week. <laughs> and and then the game was dead, guys. And you know what? He's just sitting there gathering dust. Yep. So I'm saying, what do you think guys, do you think the online is going to get delayed on this? Are they going to hype it up and make us buy the game and do the same thing as last time and just give us a dead online? Because I'm not feeling that guys, I'm not feeling wasting my hard earned money, you get me? I work hard for my money, I don't like giving it away anyway. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't want it to mm. be the case that I'm going to wait and wait and wait and is the game going to come out and then when it does come out it's going to be a dead load of crap guys. So I just say maybe, I'm saying maybe, we want to know what you think guys, we always put the question to you guys first, to the family first, saying look what do you think, you get me, do you mm. think the online will be delayed or are they going to learn from their frigging mistake last time and put online out straight away and not let their game die within like two weeks, because that's literally what happened, the game died within two weeks, it was it did, done you know. for. So once you finished story made, you played online on multiplayer, which was the racing, which was again it was it was it was late, and then it was um, late, yeah. when the, they didn't bring out online free roam. Free roam is a big thing, guys, in racing games, especially Need for Speed and stuff like that. You you they're known for the free roam. Free roam yep. it didn't come out until about I think it was about three four months later, because the game had literally died. We had left the game, gone back to the crew one. Um, or crew two, I think. No, it's crew one. I yeah. mean, how many times can you do like the hyperloop race? You get me? Yeah, over and over like an idiot. That's all we used to do, guys, to try and get some money so we could buy things when online come out. Online came out, it was literally nothing. We done a few little online meets, and we was like, nah, forget this. This is something we're interested yeah, in. Yeah, we got bored real quick because real quick. You had <laughs> yeah, yeah, you had done all the cruising around you wanted to on your own. You had done all the races you wanted on your own. And then it was just to the point where, okay, now I'm doing it with a few more people. But it's been so long that they delayed online multiplayer that it got to the point we knew the whole map and it was just boring. So it was just boring, left it. yeah. yeah. There was nothing new to explore. There was nothing from, new to find. Yeah, the only thing that made it interesting was when they brought like the other cars, the Range Rovers and stuff like that. But yeah, and then again, that got real boring because you know the cars. Once you got, once you're driven around a new car, it's kind of boring. And so. another thing with this online malarkey, guys, the one thing that I'm questioning as well is 16 people in a lobby, yeah? yeah. Is it going to glitch out? Is everyone going to get kicked? Is it going to be that I drive away from you and I'm the leader and then you, like, get kicked out? And, you know, they need oh, to work yeah. on a lot of things, man. They I need to work on a lot of things. And I'm quite interested and quite looking forward to see how they're going to play this out, especially with 16 people in the lobby, because, you know... 16 people so those of you that don't know, we have covered a video saying that there's 16 player lobby that is confirmed. Confirmed. Yep. So it what Omar was saying about if he drives away and then you get spawned in a different lobby, that's similar to if those of you that have played it is the crew too, where to you or even Forza actually to you, you'd be thinking you're cruising with the same people, but when you drive away, you're you're still in a session with 16 people, but it's still 16 different people. But I don't think exactly, that would be because it depends the map. It depends on the map. So if the map looks like it's like payback, but in Miami instead. So I don't think the map is going to be too yeah. big, you know. So I don't think I think that the session will still be in one session. So everybody will want to. But again, we don't know yet. But again, what you guys think about the online multiplayer delayed, not delayed. If it's delayed, that's going to ruin the game. I'll tell you straight. It will ruin the game, especially for the developers, because they'll put all this time, effort, money. People will buy it and then give bad reviews, say the game crap and it'll just die out like the last Literally, one. Then the next yep. Need for Speed that comes out, I definitely won't be buying that guys, I'll tell you straight off. I don't care if it's the best game ever. Yeah. I do know a lot of people are not going to pre-order it. I, I know a lot of people are not going to pre-order it. They're going to wait for gameplay footage and all of that, reviews and stuff like that, and then and then get it. We've so. only got one trailer so far, bro. you got to remember, we've only got one 
cinematic type trailer so far. Yeah, with a little once bit of gameplay in there. Gameplay, yeah, yeah. Once they throw more gameplay in there, and maybe a different, more, a bit more brighter, should we say, like daytime maybe. Use your brain, mm. guys. Daytime. Don't show us everything in the dark and the wet. We don't want to see that. That's I going back that. to bloody four years ago in 2015 when Need for Speed come out, bro. On the ground, Solely yeah. based in the rain and in the friggin' um, dark. That was just a crap game, bro. We bought it. We had a bit of fun. It was oh, that was 2015. You know I mean? Yeah, yeah. 2015 got boring yeah. as well. Exactly. So real these quick. games get boring real quick, guys. So we're just saying that, you know, online, should they bring it out straight away? If they delay, what do you think they're going to do? If they do delay, guys, do you reckon it will kill the game? Because my, I'm saying yes, straight up, yes, Y E S, yes. Hundred percent, bro. Hundred percent. If they delay the free roam, the they're gonna take another couple months to bring out the game again. By that time, the game's dead, and we're looking for something new. So, it's a question we're gonna ask you. If they repeat the same mistake again as last time, do you think you'll be like? What do you guys think? What do, what would your opinion be on that? I'd rather they take their time and make the whole game fully come out instead of rushing it. Yeah. Yeah. All at once. Yep. But yeah, that's pretty so much guys, that's anyway, it. Yeah, that's mm. pretty much it, guys. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, share. If you are new, remember to subscribe, guys. Hit the notification. We are OTR Gamer TV, the <laughs> one and only. Make sure you get to know. Guys, we'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Peace.